welcome back to another video guys and thank you guys for joining me your boy Tony for another banger I'm excited to have you guys here with me today I didn't know I was gonna film this but the homies suggested I film it so I you know I gotta take suggestions when I can because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a side job today I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey kind of show you guys what I do um, and uh, we'll see we'll see what we get into today now what I got here before me is a 2011 Prius I'm gonna be busting down on we're gonna do a, a stereo conversion or a head unit conversion and um this is pretty much all you need just give you guys some part numbers this one does have the jbl sound system in it so i have to get this adapter harness for it for the amplifier so that's the part number you guys need got this on on amazon you guys are going to need this if you guys want to have because it's an android head unit it's like 160 dollars it's super cheap man uh so you need one of these uh to have apple carplay in it it's just basically a dongle and i'll show you guys and unbox all this right now all right anyways i had to go run to get this uh rear view camera that we're also going to be installing this is an off brand but i'm also going to be connecting that and it's the wiring for it the rca with the power so it turns on whenever the reverse is in this is just an extension for the wiring um i got the apple carplay right here the car what is it carling kit and i'll show you guys how to do this you basically have to download an app on your head unit but it's all good because it's pretty easy to do this is a transmitter for the um the jbl sound system so this is what you need and it comes with these two harnesses and then we got the head the head unit right here got this on amazon let's send i'll put all the links down in the description below if you guys want to check them out but pretty pretty standard stuff there uh this is the harness for it I believe this is the main harness, so this connects to all the um, OEM stuff, so that you don't have to cut your OEM harnesses all plugs in. Um, then right here, I believe this is for the video and your subwoofers and all that, and the remote. I'm assuming um, this over here is the GPS for the satellite, and then your USBs and whatnot. Because everything on this head unit is an actual uh, plug, so I kind of like that actually. That they're all plugs but um with that being said uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this install you feel me i got some lawn chair right here super hot day out today in cali you know we're gonna need that that being said guys i do want to remind you guys to disconnect your battery i did a tool room for hopper fight as well got these wire cutters see how they work got this soldering gun kit see how this try myself out with this right here and i got a whole bunch of heat wrap heat shrink i mean for the cables so I'm gonna try to do a proper job here this time and uh, we'll see how, how well we do. All right, and for this one, specifically this model, you just lift up this cover tray, take off this plastic and the battery's right here. And all you gotta do is just unplug that screw, take it out and then take this terminal off and then you'll be disconnected from the battery so you can go ahead and work on your Prius. All right, so on the inside of here, all you're gonna wanna do is just start opening this and then just start taking all this, all this off, man. I have no real way to tell you how to do this. I've just been going at it very slowly but with good amount of force because this is on there very tight man mm -hmm. okay 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 there we go there's two screws these two right here this one for the hour clock all right since we're right here i disconnected all the bolts i forgot to mention that this tray also has to come off but it just kind of dangles there i didn't really take it off once you got all those disconnected this thing should just come out oh there we go oh oh get that last bolt that i couldn't reach be very careful because there's obviously a harness on the back side of this that we have to disconnect you can also flip this and get back some of your money from the head unit you just you're about to install you know these are all easy plugs Unlike the Nissan's one that we're used to that never come off, these are obviously are coming out pretty pretty freaking easy, man. I'm doing this all one-handed. Oh, oh, it fell. There you have it, guys. That is a Toyota Prius head unit. It's your boy. Many hours later, you're... I know it looks like a horrible mess, and I can explain it. But right now... I need to test it. Everything's on with duct tape. This is what I usually do. Have it where you think you're gonna have it. Got that all done, all torn apart. All the wires are covered though, so they're not gonna touch anything. Make sure to be aware of that because you're gonna have wires exposed. You wanna make sure they're not touching anything. Be smart about this, guys, for real. On this backside where it gets interesting, I tapped into this tail light right here. 
on the back side so i cut out that power wire right there as you guys can see i got a lot of it feeding it so i got the positive feeding it to the actual um camera right here and then i got that the other red wire is going directly to the switch to the rca so it switches on every single time i go into reverse and then we got a ground that straps up up there and then that's about it man just the rca connected to right there as well like i told you and then that goes into the camera as well and we got that all routed everything is very very loosely ran just so i can test it and then we'll see if it works or not and then we'll make adjustments. show get your handy dandy keys i don't know how to work a prius so i'm assuming we just hit this twice and the accessories turn on oh see it's already on cool you guys can see the screen with a bluetooth that's be right here on my phone car bluetooth uh the password is going to be right there uh you guys can check it for yourself mine is zero 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 four zeros oh unsuccessful damn it oh yay so i just went to the radio setting just to figure out if the if it was gonna work on the inside of the back panel of this thing there's gonna be four screws like this two right here another one over here and then this panel lifts up a little bit and it lifts up just enough for you to sneak your wiring under there and then pop out this light and i snuck all my wiring through there that's where, I'm, where all my wiring comes out and that would be these connections right here focus on mounting the camera i'm gonna use this little plaque i think this is where the oem one goes on uh, the non-base models so i'm essentially just gonna i already made my holes so i'm just gonna mount it up like that hide the wiring and uh yeah it's gonna be pretty i totally forgot to explain this last time but basically all the wiring is ran underneath this like weather stripping you guys can see it right there it's probably like the easiest and best i don't know if it's the best way but i ran it all along the edge of the weather stripping all along this the hardest part was getting it from the latch to the like inside because i had to take this down and it's got like three clips underneath and you just swivel it and i just have it come out through this plastic up top right here like i said through that weather stripping all the way up to the front and just comes up through right here through this kick panel up through the bottom and into the head unit that's how i ran all the wiring i didn't get to show you guys when i did it but that's how i did it man it's pretty easy you'd be able to touch it right here if you stick your hands in there it doesn't need to be like under the carpet and all that it just needs to be out of the way so people don't like hit it and fall or whatever you feel me all right so i had to do some uh little reconnecting this blue wire from the actual um module for the jbl this one has to be connected to the accessory one the red one because when you connect it to the antenna it only plays radio as i found out so as soon as you put that to accessories the amp will always be on when the stereo is on so that means we can go to our bluetooth music we can go we go to bluetooth and it'll work on its own you feel me <laughs> With everything else if you have music it also work with this too i don't know what this song is from but it'll work too I that's enough of that garbage so i've been running the the wire through right here so i've just been snaking it in through that panel right here i'm gonna drag it down through the bottom oh i'm gonna drag it down through the bottom through these through this cover right here and up all the way to the front to the stereo that's how i'm gonna route the rca cable so um let me just do that real quick all right so your boy made his connections and then I got this other sleeve that's about to go over it and uh, pretty much seal all the speaker wiring. And then we'll go on from there and then I'll explain a little bit more. How all right, man. Right here, I got this. Uh, this one says reverse on it. So I just connected that one to the um, 12 volt in from the video source. And it, the rest of it's like right here. And I got it all taped up so it wouldn't come apart right here, the RCAs. So then this is just gets plugged in back to the head unit and it should work. Uh, coming over to the harness, this is the main harness to the head unit. Uh, just basically um just the blue one for the antenna the orange one for illumination and then the 12 volt constant battery and then the negative terminal right here all goes to this one for the amplifier pretty self-explanatory the only one you don't use is this black and white one and then this red one i took it off from this group of section right here because this is the accessory one and i used that one to turn on the amplifier so that I remember when I was mentioning it wasn't working because I had it to the antenna. So the antenna only works on the radio. So when it wasn't on the radio, it wasn't working. So I just connected it, connected it to the accessory. So whenever the head unit's on, the amplifier is going to be on. Uh, this strand, it's pretty much useless. So I'm going to just put those all together like that because we don't need them. Uh, this is all just for the speaker wire. All of them are pretty obvious. Uh, they're all the same color. Two purples, two gray, two white, two greens. And then obviously one of them is negative, And you can see that from the negative indications. The line, you just kind of put those through there. And I already got it taped up, sealed up pretty well. Other than that, we don't do anything else. Uh, that should be the only job you have to do. This is the GPS right here. 
and it comes up to right here so that it can get a constant view of the you know of the sky so we can get a uh, proper satellite reading so we have it right there because the cable is not really long so i was barely able to route it right there this ooh, i don't even know i believe this one is for the um carplay all right so we're down here this is where the usb connects to the adapter let me take out that cover for you guys this is where it connects right here and then the top of that goes to up top like i said right here and this goes to the head unit come down usb to this adapter for the carplay uh, i have it all taped up so it won't come apart and then whenever you need to swap your cable you can do so or whenever you need to use it basically the way this goes tucked up is right behind this panel right here and it kind of just falls in there watch see i'll tuck the way and hit it so whenever you need it it's easy access and the cable is still pretty long other than that the connections that are still the same is this one for the actual antenna all right i know this looks very confusing but i promise it's not these connectors do not ever get plugged in uh this is one of the black connectors and one of the other black connectors they only go in one way so you can't get this amplifier wrong this is like a de decoder for the amplifier if you have jbl the one that goes to the main harness is the one that goes directly to this um to the amplifier so that one goes through there and then the next one is just a smaller one that's connected to the main harness this one goes into the actual head unit and then this one gets plugged in and those are the only ones that get plugged into the oem harness everything else has to get plugged in because there's small connections that's just kind of the style for this head unit so i just need to put it all back together and then we'll go about our business this one will go on first oh it's kind of sturdy in there you know it's for sure not falling out I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like, but this is what it looks like all blacked out. Everything's put back together. So when we go in and press this stuff, it should just work like normal. Yay. It's got a lot of cool features, man. I, don't, I haven't really gone through it and stuff. It's got radio. It's got video up, input and output. Um, It's got a lot of stuff, man. Where are the apps at? It's got tons of apps, man. Psh, gallery, music, maps, Chrome, Navigator, Aux, damn, Calendar. Look at all that, man. Phone link. Oh, I think that's for uh, for uh, if you don't if you want to do like CarPlay, but it's like uh, it just mirrors the screen. I think that's what you do. Sound recorder, theme, radio, Play Store, YouTube. Sheesh, you could do so much with this, man. Cool thing about this is that when you hit the switch for like the headlights and stuff, it turns on like the actual key buttons right here. So on, at night you can't see them, but during you know when you need them they'll turn on. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What y'all think? I need to take it out for a drive so I can see what it really looks like. I really want to see what this nap does though. Yes. This is what it looks like all put back together. You wouldn't even be able to tell that I took it all apart. Put all the paneling back in there. Beautiful. Can't even tell. My wiring's all around. You can't even tell. The wiring goes through right here. Still can't even tell. Beautiful. All the wiring's tucked in underneath this panel. It's great, man. The camera right there yes sir very discreet on the inside i couldn't find any bracketry that this head unit came with i couldn't find anything and the description didn't say that it had one either so i kind of put it in there and basically the only thing that holds it in there is this gray clip right here because it clips on through the three bottom ones and that's kind of what holds it there and it doesn't i'm gonna go for a drive right now but i don't think it's gonna move fairly i don't think it's gonna move much the overall fitment there is some gaps right here it doesn't sit 100%, I would say, flush. But it it still looks pretty good, though. It has some gaps in the corners along the edges, but it still looks like it somewhat goes there. It doesn't look like it's out of place at all, but, you know, it looks, still looks pretty good. Let me, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Let me know down in the comments below. We don't we rarely work on these kinds of cars here, but, you know. Una vez al año no duele. Calar algo nuevo, you know. All right, so I'm trying to download this file for the Autolink, for the CarPlay. I'm trying to do this um we'll see what happens it wasn't working before because mine doesn't really the way i've looked it up is mine doesn't prompt me once this down this file downloads this is an apk is basically to download a, a, a app onto the android head unit without using the google play store because it doesn't exist on the google play store now with that being said it, it doesn't prompt me the way it normally does the way i've seen on other people's screens so i just need to figure that out uh, let me see so it prompted me to say uh download it open 
I'm gonna open this thing. Oh, it's working. Uh, for your security, your phone is not allowed to install on apps for the secure. Oh, damn it. Let me change that in the settings. Allow for this source. How do I go back? Oh yeah, and then we're gonna hit install because it's gonna prompt you, AutoKit, do you wanna install this application? Does it not require any special access? Install. It's gonna install. Finally worked. I don't know why last time it wasn't working. The Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting to this. I don't know why, I just had to keep switching to that. Like tabs and whatnot. App installed, let's open it. See what happens. Your boy phone is connected. Connecting. And that's how you bump no mojo jojo on your shit i tried to get a film out of natural so i'm doing it right now on my phone i'm editing as we speak i literally just from that last clip right now um i want to thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that thumbs up i hope this was helpful to some of you guys i kind of just did this just for fun but uh, i hope it was helpful to some of you guys because i was having trouble to do that carplay thing so if this was helpful let me know down in the comments below if you guys have a similar setup let me know as well what you guys rocking in your in your ps also these things got mad sound systems for what they are you know this is 2011 and it's got jbl i don't even think i've oh, i i don't know man this is pretty high up there i'm not gonna lie it has a lot of bass has a lot of good mid-range it's pretty good i like it with that being said guys uh, i'm gonna end the video here you guys because i have to take off i gotta go do more stuff that you guys will see later on i did get accepted into the show low times that's june 26 2022 so y'all can pull up it's like 1 to 6 30 freaking planes i'm doing a whole new i'm doing a whole new look on the bug man uh, i'm doing new, new door panels new seats everything bro like new wheels everything bro like it, it's gonna look sick it's gonna be personalized to my style right now it looks a little bit like oem plus but it's gonna be it's gonna be tune it out you feel me so i hope you guys are excited for that because i hit that subscribe button i don't want you guys to miss out on another banger when i drop it uh so hit that bell as well i hope you guys have an amazing blessed day i hope you guys have a great day, and I catch you on the next video.